Hi, this is Nicole Hacka with Rilla Page Top Producers. And so we've got our local business of the week. So today we've got Marla Paul Morasti. Yes. Okay. With it's your wedding.ca. Yes. Okay. So um tell me, Kate, you've got like multiple different components to your business. Yes. So let's break it down and you choose which one you want to talk about first. Okay. Well, we'll start off with um I am a marriage commissioner for the province of Manitoba, and I marry people within the I guess the city limits and the province limits of Manitoba. Okay. And I perform weddings. I do destination wedding signings before you go away. I can do commitment ceremonies and also renewal of vows ceremonies. Okay. I do them sometimes in my yard and then sometimes I go out to other places or venues that require my assistance I guess cool yeah. so what's the what's the farthest that you usually travel for a wedding um I would say about four hours that's lately nice. that's my my zone yeah it seems like I think like the farthest I go lately is been Hecla Island okay so yeah to go yeah there. yeah that'd be a nice wedding up there yeah it is it's, it's very pretty yeah. okay <laughs> um now when you're looking for someone to marry you like what are like maybe characteristics that you would look for in somebody? What might somebody really love about you? Um, well, a lot of people just say I'm easy peasy. Okay. <laughs> so I try to create like the no stress wedding. Yeah. Because I think uh, the wedding business has got so much hype around it. Huge. Yes. And everybody wants a dollar from it. And yeah. I don't work that way. I set the fee. This is what it is. Mm -hmm. It's that simple. Yeah. Um, I talk people through how to get a marriage license and I talk them through how to apply for a marriage certificate. Normally I do all that work, but, um, and that's it. I personality wise, I just yeah. like what you see is what you get. Yeah. <laughs> just whether or not you're the right fit yeah. for those people exactly. or whatnot. And I think people have to shop around. I think a lot of times people look at price mm. as a, a thing like, oh my goodness, like what's the price? But you got to take a look at it. Um, summertime comes and you're paying a cheap price for somebody and they're thinking, hmm, I want to go to the lake for the weekend. Person that normally has a little bit more of a price to them are going to be there for your wedding. And I bailed a lot of people out doing that. Okay. So that's food for thought yeah. when you're looking for a marriage commissioner. I'm, I'm a firm believer in, in you get what you pay for. Exactly. And you, you know, when you cheap out, yeah, it usually comes back to bite you somehow. And it normally happens on a long weekend, just to okay. say. <laughs> so if you're getting married on, the, on a long weekend, you have somebody really cheap, yep. call you Thursday night. Bail yeah. you out. Yeah, Thursday okay. night, it'll be that phone call. Okay. Can you help us? Yeah. Right, so yeah. Yeah, I like to see that happen. Yep, it does. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, so now, how long have you been doing this? And Helps. what got you into it? Okay, so doing marriage commissioning for about seven years. Um, got into it from a former student because I used to work for the Lurie Rail School Division for many, many years. So hello to everybody who's watching from Ms. Marla. Um, so I got into it because Alexandro came forward to me one night at Montana's at St. Patel and says, would you marry Kaylee and I? And I was kind of like flabbergasted, like, you want me to marry you? Like, why? Yeah. And lo and behold, seven years later, I've quit my job at the Lurie Rail School Division and this You're is my business this. now. Yeah. That's so cool. Yes, life takes you in different paths all the time. Yeah, I've got a friend who had something like that happen to them. Mm -hmm. And every time she tries to let her license expire, somebody else asks her. Yes. And it <laughs> just keeps going and going and going. It happens like yeah. that, right? Yeah. So it kind of works out really good. Like on the sideline, um, since I do this now for a living, my husband's got his marriage commissioning license because I'm booking a, a, like advance. Wow. So I don't know what's going to happen to me in 2020, but my husband now is my backup. Okay. So if some, I haven't used him yet, but, yeah. <laughs> but the fact is he's there that you'll never be left alone kind of thing. So, yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Um, one thing I found really interesting, you said 5,000 weddings per year in province of Manitoba. That's crazy. Yeah. That's the average for weddings. And then you look at all the paperwork behind that. And mm -hmm. so right now, like when people are applying for marriage um, certificates and stuff like that, like they wait. So from June right now, Vital Statistics is just processing June weddings right now. And so we're, we're just for yeah. everybody who knows, <laughs> we're shooting this video October 10th. 10th. Yeah. Yeah, ninth. Yeah, yeah ninth. Yeah. yeah. So, anyways, yeah. So, it kind of gives you an idea. So, how far behind they are in totally. the processing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So now you have a couple other areas that you're like diversifying into. Yes. So uh, tell them a little bit about. Okay. That. Well, diversifying into corporate events. So I use my yard um, for corporate events. So if you want to have a staff party or something, you want to have an outdoor barbecue. 
I can set up the tent and we bring in the food that you want and we set up all the games and you guys mm -hmm. can have a corporate event right here in my yard for an afternoon. You're close to the city and it works out really, really well. We've, yeah. we've had great success with it. I, I did one this year with about 250 people. Wow. So I catered the whole breakfast and everything. It was awesome. Yeah, That's cool. A good time. And so you're located just outside the city. Yes. Um, down St. Mary's Road. Right on. Right, yep. right where the garden centers are. Yeah, right in, <laughs> smack dab in between all the garden centers. Um, okay, so what are some other fun facts, things you want people to know about you? Ah, uh, fun facts. Um, got a great personality. That's always the thing that always kind of attracts people to me. Um, I say what I mean, and that's normally, if I say it, that's normally going to come true for you. And uh, I think we have a pretty good space here in our yard and everything yeah. for people that want to, you know, take that leap. We've had, a, I've actually had a couple this year from River Park South that used our yard. That's so cool. So it was kind of nice. And I don't know. Yeah, if it wasn't such a gloomy day today. I, I would, know, we could be outside. It's <laughs> epically raining and we're going to get snow tonight, so there's going to be no footage of your yeah. yard, but it is beautiful. It is. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of do. And I don't know, I think just um, like, you know, little facts that I can help people out with. So if you do think you want to get married or you think you want to have a corporate barbecue in my yard or whatever, give me a call. Like I'm, you know, yeah. I'm around. Okay. Just, just pick up the phone. You betcha. <laughs> and we're going to have all the information up on the screen there uh, for everybody as well. So that's our local business of the week. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> okay. Bye, everybody. Bye.